In this question, we will determine the centroid of a triangle with given vertices. Now, there's a really quick and easy way to do this. There's the triangle. The quick and easy way to do this is to simply add up all the x-coordinates and divide by 3, then add up all the y-coordinates and divide by 3. So the quick method looks like that. Simply add them up. Um, negative 4 plus 12 plus 8 is equal to 16, and divide that by 3, you get 16 thirds. Similarly, negative 2 plus 6 plus 12 added up is 16, divide that by 3, and you get 16 thirds. Of course, it doesn't always work out that the x and y coordinates of the centroid are the same, but in this case it does. And there's our centroid. Given the triangle that we were given at the start, our centroid is right there. Now, the question, though, might ask you to do it the longer way. And the longer way, we'll call it method two. And what we want to do in this case is determine the point of intersection of two medians. In order to do that, our first order of business will be to determine the midpoint of AB. Well, if you recall, point A has the coordinates negative 4, negative 2, and point B has the coordinates 12, 6. The midpoint will be x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So we end up with uh, a midpoint of negative 4 plus 12 over 2 as our x-coordinate and negative 2 plus 6 over 2 as our y-coordinate. So our midpoint becomes 4, 2. We can see what that looks like graphically right there. We have a midpoint of AB at 4, 2. Proceeding along, we determine the equation of the line containing the midpoint of AB and the far vertex C. In other words, what we're going to do is imagine a line being drawn from the midpoint to the vertex, and we'll determine the equation of that line. And remember what the line segment itself is. That line segment is called a median. So we, uh, first of all, go from the midpoint, 4, 2, to the far vertex, which in this case is 8, 12. We determine our slope using the slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And that's 12 minus 2 over 8 minus 4, which is equal to 5 over 2. We know that the equation of the line will be y equals mx plus b, and since the slope is 5 halves, we know that the equation of the line is y equals 5 halves x plus b. At this point, we su sub in either of the two known points, 4, 2, or 8, 12, for x and y, and then we solve for b. So we chose, in this case, to sub in the coordinates 4 and 2. So 2 goes in for y, 4 goes in for x. We know from above that our slope is 5 halves. And now we can simply uh, evaluate b. 5 halves times 4 over 1 is 20 over 2, which simplifies to 10. So we get 2 is equal to 10 plus b, which means b is negative 8. And the equation of our first median is 5 halves x, excuse me, is y equals 5 halves x minus 8. Looking at that on a straight line, we see that we have a median going from the midpoint of 4, 2 to the far vertex of 8, 12. And we've determined the equation of that line to be y equals 5 halves x minus 8. Moving to the next uh, part, we have to find another uh, equation of a, of a midpoint to a far vertex. Now we can go across the triangle this way, or we can go from this midpoint over to here. It doesn't matter which way we choose to use. In this case, we're going to go from the midpoint of AC across to the far vertex of B and determine the equation of that line. So we begin by finding the midpoint of AC doing our midpoint formula, x1 plus x2 over 2 and y1 plus y2 over 2, we get that the midpoint of AC is at 2 comma 5. Okay. So
So again, going back to our first diagram, we can see our, our, our first median is y equals 5 halves x minus 8. And we see that our uh, second midpoint is at 2, 5. And we're going to try and determine the equation of the line that extends from 2, 5 to 12, 6. So doing that, we uh, remember that that line segment is called a median. The equation of the line from 2, 5 to 12, 6 is uh, determined first by determining the slope. The slope using y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 is 1 tenth. We then are in a position to uh, plug in 1 tenth for the slope, which we've done right here. We can then sub in either point that we know from the curve, or excuse me, from the straight line into that equation. In this case, I chose to use the midpoint 2, 5, but I could have just as easily used the uh, far vertex 12, 6. Using 2, 5, we sub in 5 for y and 2 for x. And doing some simple uh, solving or evaluating at first, we get 5 is equal to 1 fifth plus b. Um, we can then subtract one-fifth from both sides and we get b is equal to 24 over 5 which means y is equal to one-tenth x plus 24 over 5. At that point we see that we've got two medians one here and one here and our job is simply to find that point of intersection right there. The way we do that is to determine the point of intersection using the method of substitution in this case. Since we have both of the equations in the form y equals mx plus b, we'll simply let the x expressions equal each other. There we go. Um, because we have a lowest common denominator of 10, it's convenient to multiply every term on each side by 10. So 10 times 5 halves is 25. 10 times 8 is 80. 10 times 1 tenth is 1, and 10 times 24 over 5 is 48. We now have integers, and we get that x is equal to 16 over 3. We can then substitute this value into either line equation, in other words, the equation of either median. So we chose the median equation y equals 5 halves x minus 8. Plugging in 16 thirds for x, and using our laws of fractions, we see that y will be 16 thirds as well. And so the centroid in this case is equal is at the point 16 thirds, comma, 16 thirds.